Hey folks, so this is not the uh, promised live stream. I completely forgot that I was going to be away camping this week. Uh, I wanted to make sure you guys had something, so I thought I would just recklessly jump in and <laughs> jump on the bandwagon of GW bashing in light of their recently declared price increases. Uh, that's, not, that's not quite true. Um, from my perspective, Free market economics say that GW is entitled to charge as much as it is able to uh, for its products. And if it feels like it can increase prices and retain its customer base, then that's supply and demand in action. Um, I have a lot to say about supply and demand. The flip side of that is obviously employment supply and demand, which should also be a free market, but seemingly... Uh, big companies are not super happy about that. You can say that this is price gouging with record profits from uh, GW, and the fact is, you know, there's there's some truth to that. The growing wealth divide is kind of in action right here, as well as in companies across the world at the moment, um, and you know, price rises like this are a part of that. But the counter argument is also completely valid. Their material costs are going up. Uh, there are a lot more barriers for them in terms of shipping. Shipping costs are astronomical now. Um, and a million and one other reasons. It's, you know, it is a perfectly valid response to what has happened. Uh, certainly from their perspective. I think, you know, if you're being objective, it's it's not an unreasonable response. We may hope for different. We may hope for, you know, a company that is less driven by profits and more driven by supporting the community. Uh, but that's not really what you get when you are dealing with a publicly traded company. So here it is. Uh, we have significant price increases. Uh, I had actually already cut back quite heavily on my Games Workshop spending and my miniature spending in general. Uh, a lot of stuff that has come out recently hasn't been super appealing to me. My hobby spend has tended to go into scale models of late uh, just because of the folks that I am spending more and more time with. They tend to be much more into the scale model of sides of things. Uh, obviously, Warlord Games recently with Bolt Action, I, I got an army for that. Um, but I still pick up Warhammer Underworld tool vans when they come out. The big thing for me was Dungeon Bowl. The start of this year I picked up several teams with the intention of making a complete set of Dungeon Bowl teams, each of the colleges, uh, with pretty much all of the possible options. Now, the way that Games Workshop structured Dungeon Bowl was really designed to force you into buying multiple boxes for multiple teams to form a single team, which is not unheard of from GW, uh, especially for a game like Blood Bowl, which they grudgingly support because it has a huge player base, but the spend per player there is really not as high as they would like. Um, unfortunately, Blood Bowl teams were hit pretty badly by the price rises, and the reality is that there are just much, much better third-party sculpts out there that can be had for fantasy football. And I don't ever play in official Games Workshop run Blood Bowl tournaments because there aren't any. So I think the sad truth is that these price rises have driven me away from my original plan. I really had intended to go full GW with all of these uh, Dungeon Bowl teams because most of my previous Blood Bowl teams are actually from the dark days when GW was no longer supporting it and first party teams were not available. Um, but it looks like that's where we are again. I'm going to be going back to just getting the bare bones uh, or you know the, the third party options and uh, making my teams from those. Probably a lot of it is going to be 3D printing. Those of you that subscribe to the channel, and you should by the way, um, will know that I've, I've recently got a 3D printer. There are some incredible fantasy football sculpts out there. 
uh, there's really no reason for me not to take advantage of it at this point. And it's it's sad. I'd bought a uh, full College of Shadow team uh, the start of this year. Um, I had been on my way to building out a life team with uh, Wood Elves and Halflings. Um, and I think I'm really going to have to reconsider because those teams were already on the upper bounds of what I wanted to spend. And it's just gotten a heck of a lot more expensive so um that's where i personally am at i'd love to hear where you guys are going uh in light of these price increases does it matter to you is it gonna make you throw in the towel are you rage quitting games workshop do you think it's fair do you think it's you know just part of doing business um i really you know i, I see both sides i can only speak for what it impact it's had on me personally and that is really not very much blood bowl being the only thing uh i probably will buy more gw stuff uh at some point but uh for the moment it's really encouraged me to cut my spend uh with the company and honestly i'm cutting hobby spend in general in any case so that's my take on the latest hot news if uh please do put your thoughts into the comments please or as always, do the likey, subscribey thingy. Um, feel free to check out the affiliates if you are wanting GW, or if you're not, uh, Herrick Games and Hobbies has an amazing selection of stuff for folks in the US. Uh, really reasonable levels to get free shipping. If you use the affiliate link in, my, uh, in the description below, you'll get $10 off your first purchase. So it's a great way to try it. Uh, Sky, who runs the store, is a great guy completely family run he and his wife have the store up in boulder creek in here in california um also if you're looking to pimp your gw stuff or any other stuff elrex hobbies have some phenomenal resin bases they are what i like to use for commissions these days uh their link is also in the description below and there's a code there that will get you 10 percent off your order so please do consider checking those out for now, I'm going to apparently be enjoying camping in the middle of nowhere, and I hope you guys have a very enjoyable weekend, long weekend if you're here in the US, hopefully, and I will be back on Monday with some tips for getting rid of that silvering effect on decal, so do check that out. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for joining me, and I will be back soon. Later days. Mm -hmm.